Kenny. Yeah, he'd play out with a small handful of games there. He played a practice match there early in the year. Uh, but, yeah, he'll be able to push up. His priorities will be uh, playing at Oakley and then uh, national championships for Vic Med back to their state league clubs and hopefully something to work on in the second half of the year. Showed some fantastic footy in the last couple of years when he's been given a chance at senior level. Their father, of course, Terry. They lead the AFL Academy 2-5-17. Played 11 and a half in his third term. Short little kick in, is okay. Something you, you're hoping to see from them that they may have worked on on their game in isolation. You see, you see, you see the boys play as 16 year olds, but in fairness and credit to a lot of them, gee, they did a power of work throughout the lockdown last year when they weren't playing, weren't playing football as such. So it's a credit to the clubs they're involved in and the structures that they've been able to really hit the ground running. In body weight and strength, and of course, uh, they won't have the same cohesion as the Geelong team that train together. But what we want to see is some moments at least, and hopefully that uh, the growth spurt type factor. But I still think he shows every bit of promise to be a potential player for the Cats down the track. Geelong holding a 22-point lead over Australia as the kick comes to half back, and a nice mark by Moyle is OK. The ball, Erasmus goes back in forward. It's OK. Faye takes the mark. Wants to switch the play out wide. That's better.